So, if you're anything like me, at some point you've thought to yourself, wow, I would really like the pleasant effects of whiskey, but I can't be bothered with the actual, you know, drinking of this stuff. I've got a solution for you on that one, my friend. You only need a couple of household items. A drill, cork, some electrical tape, water bottle, some whiskey, let me move that further out of the way, and a pump of some sorts. I've actually got a Huffy Sports NBA basketball pump. Really, it doesn't matter at all. You just need some sort of pump. So, first thing you do, you want to take your cork, drill a hole through it. You may need to bore one side a little more, depending on how you're exactly going to fit it to your pump on a basketball pump or football pump, however you want to look at it like this, handheld pump. And you just kind of stick it right on there. You might bore it out a little bit, but it's not too big of a deal. And just seal everything up with electrical tape. We need a good airtight seal, so make sure everything's very snug. Then you want to pour a little bit of your whiskey into your water bottle. Like, I'm talking a tiny, tiny bit at the bottom. Like, a third of a shot, maybe a quarter of a shot. I'm really eyeballing at this point. But, your next step is to put your pump, get a good tight seal. We're going to pressurize this as much as we can. And poof! Quickly pull it off, and we've got vapor. Entirely pleasant. Now, as a biochemist, it behooves me to mention that this is entirely reckless. You don't want to do this. This bypasses our body's normal way of processing alcohol, ethanol in this case. Now, normally when we drink alcohol, a significant portion of it is actually broken down in our stomach before it even has a chance to be absorbed by a handy little enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase. This enzyme is responsible for the effects that we see whenever you go out drinking on a night stomach versus whenever you've had something to eat you end up getting more drunk. Now basically what happens is when the stomach has contents in it to be digested it closes off at the bottom and doesn't allow things to pass through until it's done its job. Well, the longer that the alcohol is in the stomach with the food the more chance there is for alcohol dehydrogenase to do its thing. Now when you breathe alcohol, this enzyme has no chance to do anything at all. And actually, breathing it in straight into your lungs takes it directly into your bloodstream even faster than through the small intestine. So the effects of this are incredibly intense and, well, a bad idea. A tiny little bit will go much farther. So just don't do it. It's reckless. Please, this was just for entertainment.